Hey guys, in this video, we will be learning how to draw a platform floor stairs. Alright, so on the other video, we actually use the ceiling function to create our platform floor stairs. Alright, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the platform function to create a platform floor stairs. Let's get started. All right, so go inside into your 2D, all right, your layout. So as you can see right over here, uh, type platform, all right. So just drag a platform out, okay. So right now, I can click on the platform and resize it, all right. So my length, I will put it 4,000 for my length, okay. Following my layout and the width is 37. 3760 for my length okay and for my width which is my thickness is 4000 all right once i'm done i can just drag it inside okay maybe i can just turn it over rotate okay so i put it here join it join it okay so i have my platform already okay which is something like that on my floor all right so when i go back into 2d i want it to extrude a little bit higher all right i want to create a right now is just like that i want to create this one the surface to go slightly higher okay so click onto my platform and for the height i'm going to change it to 600 all right so when i go inside my 3d it looks like that Alright, so I have my platform ready. So now over here at this part, I'm going to create my floor stairs. Alright, just using only platform. Alright, so same thing, go inside into your 2D. Alright, drag a platform out. Okay, so I might need three platforms because I'm going to create a total of three different types of stairs. Okay, so 1000 for my length. Okay, for my thickness, I'm going to put 900 for the first piece. Okay, and then for my height, 150. That's good enough. Alright, so place it accordingly. Over here should be 3760. Okay, so I have my first piece done, which looks something like that. Okay, so the second one, same thing. I'm going to drag a platform out. Alright, rotate it. Okay, click onto the platform and change the size. Alright, so for my first stash, I actually key in 900. So for my second one would be 600. Alright, and for the height, I'll remain it as 150. Okay, so same thing, I'm going to adjust them accordingly. 3760. Okay, so I have two different types of stairs now for the last one. Alright, same thing, drag it out resize 1000 thickness 300 all right and then hold on to our space bar okay make sure you hold on to your space bar when you are dragging and adjusting your placing all right so i have three a total of three stairs okay so basically it's still overlapping all right so what i can do is that click on the second stairs okay this one, the elevation, I'm going to put 150, okay? Because our first stairs is, the height is 150. So we need to change our elevation to 150, okay? So this one, I hide it first. For the, for the last one, I'm going to change the elevation to 300, okay? So now, and I'm going to display and show all my stairs, okay? And when I go into 3D, it looks something like that all right so i've just created a staircase by just using platform all right and also over here for this column okay maybe i need to have a column okay over here then i go into 2d same thing i drag a platform out all right rotate it okay just place it accordingly all right so over here would let me resize them first Okay, so length should be 1000, thickness 350, for my height, I'm going to give it 600, okay, and also for, then let me place it first, okay, 0 to the corner, over here should be 2000, alright, so 
now as you can see i have something i have a column but it is overlapping the platform all right the surface so remember just now when i extrude the surface it was 600 so right now the elevation i'm going to type it 600 all right and when i go into my 3d and there you have it all right so this is how to draw a platform floor stairs by just using platform okay Good luck trying guys.